Foot locks are extremely sneaky submissions. So sneaky that instructors don't even want to show you. Because if they show you, that means you might possibly, possibly, might possibly catch them, and they don't want that. Now, another thing, when I was younger, you know, teenage years, and I was a squirmy little kid who was coming up in the Gracie Academy here, just learning and rolling with the adults, Footlocks were one of my secret weapons to catching them because they never expected it. And because their footlock defenses weren't that effective, I was very successful at just, you know, chopping feet off left and right. So what we want to show you, in a previous Gracie Insider, he don't get us, gave us a very, very detailed explanation of the proper way to wrap and squeeze the footlock. But this month, we're going to focus on the defense. Don't get caught by surprise by someone younger, less knowledgeable, less skillful, who catches you without you expecting it. Footlock defense. So, right now, he has his foot right here on the bottom and one foot on my hip. Okay? When Henner falls to the side, this foot right here on my hip is the foot that doesn't allow me to move. It keeps me where I am and therefore that allows him to take my foot off. So what I want to do is just I want to hug his leg and get, lift myself up. If I'm falling to the side, I use my leg, I get up a little bit. Now, I push his toes off my hip. I push his foot down. Some of you might want to do this or this, this right here, the most leverage pushing the toes down. Now using my foot, with my hand right here and my foot on the ground, I hop my butt over his foot and I land on my side. Watch my arm. I don't do this. I go directly to my side. Now both my hands cover his knee because he might want to step through and do that. I gotta make sure that can't happen, so I hug this, go. I keep his knee here. And this foot of mine, also, it's not here, he might step over. It is, my knee pinches his leg down. I'm controlling. So right now I can't come through the front, but I also can't go out the back door and step over. If I get my leg over, that's called the belly down footlock. That's one of my favorite and most devastating footlock uh, applications that, uh, that we teach and we use. So you don't want this leg to come through no matter what. Right now, because he has this control, I can't squeeze very effectively. So the footlock is neutralized, but he's still not free to go. Watch what he does next. So I stuff his leg down, place my heel on his hip, and now as I kick with this foot, I pull my caught foot out. And then possibly go on top, whatever. As long as you're safe, you're happy. Leaves me with nothing. Catch my foot one time. Catch it, this other angle. So check it out. You know, it has the foot. One good little tip here is to put the boot on. Anytime someone wraps your foot up, rather than letting you don't hit the very tip, watch my leg. I kick my leg deep in the hole there and I tighten my toes up towards my face. What that does is prevent or limit and reduce the chance that he tears one of my ligaments during this whole process. Now, the truth is, you want to avoid this foot landing on your hip to begin with. What I mean by that is, for example, you know, standing up, foot locks normally happen from an open guard situation. You know, it goes to wrap, as he sits back, watch my elbow. There was no hip. Normally he wants to land here. But because my elbow was in my pelvis and my hand next to my thigh, I made it impossible for his foot to land on my hip. And as soon as we do that, I'm hugging and I slide to his ankle here on this one. If his foot's on the hip the way he don't show you, you sit up and you peel. So either you peel the foot off or you block the foot from landing in the first place. Either way, you pin it to the ground and you hug the knee like he don't show us. And now, to get the leverage to jump your butt over, retract this leg close to your hips. My foot comes in. Here. Now watch the jump. I'm going to push off my back foot, jump my hips forward this way. But now watch this. As soon as I jump, my hand comes off the ankle because I can't. I'll hit my wrist. 
So I jump and I release. Now he's going to want to come through. So we hug it for a second. Now at this point, it's really important that we prevent this knee from going to the ground. If he don't knee touches down right here, he has enough leverage to break my foot, especially if he's taller than me. So like he don't set elbows very close here. And when you can, start to push this knee away as you wiggle north. When you wiggle this way, it's very important that my body ends up over here. I need to create a perpendicular angle. Right now we're straight. I can't step over right now because he'll still break my foot. So from here, the trick is wiggling. I wiggle my shoulder and then my hips. Look, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. And all the while, I'm shoving his knee down little by little and then my foot comes in the hole. And as soon as I have that angle with my foot in, he has nothing left. From here, kick and pull. And then as soon as you can, start to follow up. To knee on belly, depending on the situation. Balls for him. Notice how when he jumps over, so right here his foot's already in, so I'm going to do the peel variation. Go ahead and fall on your elbow. Hold, jump. If he falls on his elbow, he only has one hand blocking my knee. So now if I just push this right here, I can step through. Or just drive your knee to the ground. Either one. It's not gets, strong enough. If he gets belly down, we're in trouble. We don't want that. So make sure that you don't use his hands for support. It's instinct to want to base out. But forget the instincts. Right here, listen to what we're telling you. Fall down and address the most important issue, which is the top knee here. Wiggle north, wiggle north, step around, kick and pull. Watch it again. And then when you finish watching it again, watch it again. And then when you think you've got it, watch it again. <laughs> and then go train afterwards. And you should get in the habit of when you're training, to now leave your foot like this under people's arms. Leave your foot hanging out. Look at the foot. Look at Eon's elbow right there. He has the most ridiculous elbow positioning and alertness I've ever seen. You know why? Because I rip his feet off all the time. Or I try to. I try to. But it doesn't work. Because he knows my tricks. He blocks the knee. I can't get through. Look at the foot wiggle. He's at the angle. Push, pull. And then from here, if you can, follow up. Knee on stomach. Life is good. Foot locks. Learn them. Use them to surprise people, but always watch out for them because someone of a lesser belt, someone much smaller, if they wrap your foot and they're quick on it, your ligaments are going to pop. So respect that. If you forgot how to do a foot lock, go back to one of the previous Gracie Insider videos, review your application, and then learn the defense. Foot lock mastery. Please, straight ankle lock mastery. It's all yours. Okay.